Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 51, it's the final second round match. We've got Antanaft versus Elliot. In the booth with me is Squirrel Dude, hello. Howdy. <laughs> Boy, howdy. Um, sorry there isn't a picture of you here, because uh, you burst in while I was unaware. <laughs> I did seem to pick the moment right before you went on break, yes. <laughs> Correct. Um, yeah, so interesting. Obviously, we all know Elyod. Um, this is Elyod 2, completely unrelated. <laughs> uh, okay, I was confused. Yeah, this is, this is unrelated, like his evil twin brother that plays really crazy or something, I'm sure. Yeah, rowdy. This guy says it's over instantly. <laughs> I'm actually now very disappointed that Elliot's alternate account is not Rowdy, mm -hmm. or Rowdy backwards or something like that. Maybe Rowdy backwards would be perfect. <laughs> That'd be really good, yeah. Also, a classic matchup. Orcs versus Dark Elves. Two teams that don't really want to do anything for most of the game. <laughs> In a way, yes. Well, the Orcs want to bang out the bang out their Delves. Um, delves in just an apple. The reason we're on that Elliot have an, has Andy's face is because... The crabs I gave my flatmates <laughs> were the best crabs. So Jim made this thing called a Bumble okay. Super League where everyone got to have their own custom icons and then Jim never removed them from his mm. own game. Yep. So Andy did. <laughs> yep. I might be a little bit lazy. Um, but that was perfect timing with the crabs. Thanks for that, Conrad. <laughs> That sounded much better than the, than the story about the Super League. <laughs> um, Most things do. Yeah, the Super. Yeah, you know, it's. I like having my JF logo still, but yeah, I should probably get rid of all of the others. <laughs> so, maybe if you can make Purple Chest always use the Purple Chest. The Purple Chest one's also pretty good, I suppose. I'm mm. legitimately. Well, I, what I wanted. That one's pretty regular. Yeah, what I thought we should do, what, what I thought we should do as a community, you know, of streamers, we could have like, you know, Rick always uses one that's got Rick's logo on, and you know, Elliot always uses Elliot's logo and stuff like that. We could do that, couldn't we? And then we could have like a pack, the streamer pack that has all of the logos, which would be pretty cool. But then, um, you know. Yeah, y'all could use that for like the next six months before Blood Bowl 3 comes out and everyone hates ourselves. The next one month, but yeah, I mean, we could have done that months ago, but I... Is it like really a month ago, away but, uh, from being allegedly released? Is it really that close? Yeah, well, six weeks. I'll, I'll believe it when it's actually downloadable. So I'll stand <laughs> on that, I'm going to stick to it. Until that thing's downloadable and playable, I, I do not believe Cyanide. I think, I think they'll days. definitely release it now. Like, you know, I think they'll release it when they say it. But um, how playable it is, <laughs> is another question. <laughs> Yeah, I'm. I'm not going to get it on release, but I didn't get level two on release, so. That's a huge Kaz and a minus strength, so instant apple from uh, Elliot two, Probably. the mysterious Elliot two, whoever he is. Around. Yeah, no one knows. Some Sorry. I've heard he's some guy named Doyle, but that makes not, sense. No confirmation it? on that. Yeah, maybe he's Doyle too. Um, mm. <laughs> but Doyle great, great second. org team. Isn't it? Great org team there. Two mighty blue. Well, not oh, great. Yeah. Good. It's good. Not great. It's the, um. It's very akin to a lot of org teams that are almost great, and that there are two black orcs that just aren't good enough. And there's this one blister that clearly died and got recently replaced. Yeah, yeah. But it's pretty nice though. You know, the two, like this guy really wants tackle. You know, so you, uh, you can have three tackle things really good we really want four like really four mighty blow tackle is like to me the bread and butter like you know just like four guys that four blitzers that are all guard tackle mighty yeah, is yeah. the bread and butter of an orc team you want one maybe have a stat somewhere on here you mr throw is maybe a touch over leveled but is mr throw so he's inherently over leveled <laughs> black orcs are so strange there's they're essential to the team but they just they just don't level very well compared to like every other strength or void, do they? No, oh, true. They're cheap at least, and in the next edition they'll be a bit faster, but... Yeah, huge being faster than the next ed. I didn't think it was that big, and then playing with them for a couple of games it's instantly noticeable how much 
much nicer that makes the team play. Mm. Just having that extra movement just to get some blocks, get some assists, and then also just playing defense is a lot easier because they can get in front of... There are a lot of times where you just don't have to do GFIs to get them in front of people now. Yeah, quite nice. Not 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 worse to level, Cornite. Like, not bad to level. Bad when leveled was the point that Skull yeah. was making. So, obviously, Warriors are amazing. Like, Warriors, like, that's the thing. They're competing against, like, Warriors and Fleshies. They get much more value out of their level-ups. Um, it is easy to level up Orcs, uh, Black Orcs. It's not so easy to keep them alive, of course, because they're the ones that have to yeah. take all of the hits. And you've got no, like, counterplay versus Claw Pump teams. You just have to, like, mix it up with them and hope that hope that your mass mighty blow and guard can can hang with the with the claw palm, which is you know unlikely but it is possible and nurgle warriors are worse to level until they get claw mighty and then they're probably easier to level because they're the force yeah true. they're not they're not that much harder level it's just because nurgle can't score but i mean they're still four four two Yes, it's, it's black orcs, right? Yes, ascent, yes, that's the thing. On the face of it, they're the same, but yeah. it's the situation. Um, it's just a lot. Yeah, Nurgle are just they're so terrible and just can't get as much control to make it those handoffs safe the way orcs can. Yeah. Well, there's not much defense from the delves here, is there? And they haven't lost that many players. They're only down two players, but they're just hanging around the middle, which I guess is fine, right? Like as long as you're yeah. around the middle, then. They can't as long as they can't get any penetration through the middle, then you try. You know, eventually you're going to force them down a sideline. But you know, there's something. Yeah, there's quite, he's got this quite is... a lot of penetration through the middle already. Like it's not holding. If they're holding the LOS, I wouldn't mind this from Elliot. But mm -hmm. he's holding, you know, four deep in his own half, which is not a great place to be holding. I mean, we can also just say that he has an assassin. That's kind of a problem. Not the team we don't have an assassin against. It's pretty much the worst. Might be the worst possible team to have an assassin against. Yes. With enough tackle, they legitimately do not care about getting stabbed. At a certain point, they might just start running it, trying to get that player off the field. Like, it's just. Yeah, it's just a weak link, isn't it? That, that's the thing. Yeah. That's why I've always said, like, you know, people who don't play assassins think that movement would be good. But the thing that they really need is armor, so at least they're not a weak link, you know? Like, there's. Yeah. They they just they just eat so many more blitzes because you're like, well, this oh, is Oh, everyone looks. Yeah, I yeah, know. It's the thing. You're like, oh, if you get a movement, at least they're getting a shred off. It's like, no. The problem with the assassin is the moment it walks on the field, every coach is, oh, there's an armor body seven player without dodge. <laughs> I finally have a free hit. <laughs> like, I finally have an easy hit against Dark Elves, yeah. which you want so badly because playing down against Dark Elves is so miserable. Playing even is so miserable. And playing only two players up is so miserable. <laughs> oh. Wow, I don't like this by Elliot trying to get this hit instead of just dodging out here first, right, while he had his reroll. Mm. I much prefer making this dodge out first when you've got the reroll. And then if you use the reroll on this dodge, then you can dodge this guy. But if you don't use the reroll on this, then you can make these dodge. See, there you go. And now, uh, this isn't because I watched the game because I didn't really pay much attention to it at all. But like that there, I think is a bit of a misplay from Elliot because I think if you do the dodge, this dodge first, and you, you burn your reroll in it, then you just dodge that guy out, and then you've still got like a strong screen kind of thing. Whereas it's not doing it this so way, bad because open. it is going to be hard for the orcs to rotate back to the left because Mister Throw is terrible. Well, and not... it is a blodge. It is a blodge if they power stepper. Him, so it's good. Ooh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, they power him. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah but uh, yeah, the, they needed the pals, but it's, there's enough tackle, it's not 75% chance of you throwing that knockdown. And Mr. Throw can kind of Ooh. rotate. I wonder Ooh, if Rooks want to go. I hate that. That's, yeah. I'm coming I, up, I'm coming through here, making a bit of big cage and gang foul on this guy. I hate that. that. I was going to suggest, I think you want to gang foul that blodge jumper with such a great pace to get a foul. He's already used one of his apos, so he doesn't want to use one unless it's like a. You've got some good value. You have shitty linemen. That's what they're here for. Yeah, and it, like, unless you get forward, like you want to get forward, that's the thing, right? So like, yeah, it's not that I really, really want, want to foul him. It's just that I want the ball here. I want the ball here and another guy here. Yeah, and I was gonna say either here. under you either one one square under where that guard black orc is, or right above the tackle, so it's in like a proper cage, and you've got like this annoying. You get some players in there. I don't really see the point of getting up to sit on the tackle either, other than like, oh no, you have to dodge the witch. Nope. Now. Yeah, the, the witch comes in. Okay. Uphill. 
into another uphill. She doesn't have tackle. But she pushes him back a lot. Yeah, which actually which matters quite a bit with orbs. He's gonna get another hit here. Oh, the double skulls. Mm. Three rolls there is correct. I, well, maybe the reroll isn't. Maybe the reroll's not correct because you needed a six. Maybe you don't spend the reroll on that actually. Yeah, but if if he pushes it, then he can uh, GFI here and then get a two D on it. So yeah, just needed the push, and then plus it obviously pushes him further back, which is yeah. There's a lot of value in. So I, I like the reroll. I just maybe I don't like the uphill, but maybe because his defense was so compromised, he had to do that. Obviously, mm. he certainly felt like he had to do it. He wouldn't feel like he wanted to do it, would he? We we all know Elliot. He wouldn't just want to yeah. make that play. So, you know, Chunter would want to make that play with the edge five. So I think the orcs have to do a foul here. They have to find a way to get a foul on that witch elf. It's just too good of a player to yeah. not need to foul that. It's not going to be a great foul, but you need to foul it. Yeah, or um, I mean, he could have protected the ball with guard. Might have been a better idea, but now nah, now that he hasn't, <laughs> yeah, he has to foul it. Yeah, guard probably should be on that bottom left corner, and the other person needs to be around. But yeah, you gotta foul the switch up. Yeah, he, he knew he was gonna remove it, no problem. No problem. An interesting turn where if you had the option to foul multiple players a turn, you'd probably take it. You might just, you probably just try and go for another foul on a different player, which is not, it's not that often in Blood Bowl where you actually want to, you'd want to have two fouls on a turn. But that's probably one of them. Oh, I, I'm not sure. I think if that if that was a mechanic, I think teams would be built differently and be built to yeah, multiple foul, true. honestly. Yeah. Like particularly Undead and Necro. Uh, Camry, obviously, yeah. Camry yeah. would just love it. Yeah, Camry would do it how they are now. They'd be like, fuck it, let's go, foul every turn. <laughs> Well, there's not. This isn't really a defense from Elliot, is it? <laughs> he's put them in the no. way. Well, they're not right. in the way. He's put them in a row. They're not in the way. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I can't. I don't understand why we followed up on that block work block either, other than to like try and taunt the person into making a worthless block. Yeah, but I mean, it's Which, a 3D with blocks, so yeah, he's yeah. gonna do it. As I say, if it wasn't a 3D, maybe it's, but it's very easy 3D. Mm. So. I don't really understand the point of just giving up that hit. No, that was... maybe just a, I mean, just a, maybe just a classic mistake where you just follow follow and oh, wow. do it. Absolute that's punishment. The, yeah, that's brutal. <laughs> it's fortunately a worthless lineman, but I'll probably the correct approach. Find out more about these boobies. Bench players. But... Uh, I wouldn't have appoed it. I don't think. If he has a bench, he probably you probably don't appo. If he doesn't have a bench, maybe you do. Yeah, but he's already. Let's see, is he... Okay, he hasn't got a bench at all, so yeah, I guess that was fair. Yeah. But yeah, with only 11 men, that's a bit weak, isn't it, Ben? Oh, yeah, looking at I Elliot's team, so if you didn't look at Elliot's team, he's got a... He's got an Adjunct Witch Elf and a Strength Up Blitzer and pretty much nothing else. It's kind yeah. of crazy that his only inducement was an Apo against this, like, a really quite nice uh, Orc team. Oh, he has this overpriced like, Lodge Assassin who's just bad, who's... What is that? It's, it's only Assassin's one player. One. It's only one player. But how like, much is Elliot's much team is miles it? behind Anton Avtis. The 113 value that assassin. Um, 90, 130. Yeah. So he's two linemen. So you could have two linemen. So he could have a bench. As yeah, two having rookies, that, yeah. 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 Which is probably having a, a bench player is probably better here. Well, yeah, but I mean, you could say that for the two Rogers as well, couldn't you? They yeah. Could just be three players. But no, yeah. actually, I think, yeah, I think the Raj might be better than the Assassin. The Russell's probably better than the Blood block against most, in most terms, against the Yeah, that, that's another mark against the Assassin. Like, obviously, the Assassin wants block so he can get to stab people back, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whereas everyone else is quite happy. There's probably a theoretical world where you actually want Russell in case, so, and have jump up or something, so you have, like, Russell, dodge, sidestep, jump up. That's probably better than to have Russell, no. but... But blocks, blocks still better because then you can just yeah. you can just stab things and you can like knock over ball carriers or whatever if they haven't got dot if they haven't got block things like that. Mm -hmm. Like it's still good to be able to knock people over. Was is El is Elliot not trying for this one turn? Like it wasn't easy, was it? But it looks it's like it's harder. It. It's 
If he had a movement up, he probably goes for it. But yeah, it's hard. it is hard with movement eight and no sidestep. Sorry, yeah. movement seven and no sidestep. It is really hard. I don't think he's got any sidestep, has he? Uh, well, he certainly hasn't got he any is, on the eye. He has, he has a raged up lineman. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Well, so it's just not, think it's, yeah. yeah, that's terrible. Yeah, I wouldn't even. I, I agree with not trying there. <laughs> really yeah. Maybe also if he had another witch elf that he could use, so he didn't. Because like, who are the players that could even go for it? He could either use his strength four bludger or his agility five witch elf. I don't think I actually want to use either of them. No. Well, the edge five is worth it if you've got a good shot, right? Like you know, if yeah. it was move nine with if it was movement nine. If he had one more step, frenzy, as, if he had one more frenzy as well, like it allows himself to do some blocking and then save the blitz for something later. But he only has one witch elf, so. Well, well, yeah, the, the Witch Elf is the best way of getting the pushes, like with it being move 7, yes. the Witch is the best mm -hmm. way to do the last hit, so... And obviously there's, there was some stand firm, so it was, it was a really hard one turn. I, mm -hmm. I, uh, I definitely endorse not even trying. <laughs> I think, you know, mostly one turns are overrated in general. I think it's, you know, it's... I think it's fine it's... to not defend too hard against them, and it's fine to not go hard to for them most of the time. But obviously, sometimes they're, it's very, very uh, relevant. You know, when they're moving, yeah, when they're moving, they're a bit nine, similar to setups, and that setups are an easy, or honestly, in a way, it's selection on players, where if you do it well enough, it's probably fine. It's a, it's a point where we can obviously, or easily evaluate competence, and so we hyper focus on them when they aren't, yeah, that critical. Yeah. But they're a very easy thing that anyone who, after playing for 40 hours, can see and have some <laughs> moderately informed opinion on. Hmm. And I think they are the easiest like way for somebody good to improve, right? Yeah. Nobody who's like, you know, you look at all these people who are uh, you know got 70% win rates or even 75% win rates if they, if they go that high in CCL. Um, they could all add the easiest way for them to add percentages to their win percentages is to uh is to get better at one turning because they to do a one turn every 10 games or every 20 games or so and just turn a draw into a or a loss into a draw and a draw into a win mm. every 20 games or like that yeah pretty big so it's it's a pretty big increase it's probably less than one in 20 but you know yeah it's a meaningful increase yeah but you know to do that you'd have to care about being better at blood ball and I think even the people with 75% win rates don't really care that much about being good at Blood Bowl. <laughs> no. it, to go back to the skill selection thing, it's the same way for like new coaches. The first way you can improve is please stop picking garbage skills. Just stop doing it. And you'll get your win rate will improve by like five to ten percent by just not covering your team with trash. And mm -hmm. then you'll go from like thirty-five to forty-five by just not having bad skill select, by picking more guard and less diving tackle and less prehensile tail and other nonsense. <laughs> more dodge, more guard will do better. Yep. By, a by accident. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Arcanate. Uh, yep, lovely Daka here from the Dark Elves. Obviously, you've got, you, I agree with this. He's got 11 players. Uh, this is a rowdy, yeah. a rowdy Orc team. Um, he's never. I think that offense by the orc showed that he's just he doesn't really have the ability to pressure him to get the ball back on a short drive, and anyway, so it's, you gotta just try and play the frailty, which means you to help the team. So Daka it is. Mm, Daka Daka. Mm. Thought you followed a long time ago. You know, you know, <laughs> you know what you could say about somebody who isn't following Jimmy Fantastic. I'm legitimately an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love that. <laughs> Flip me. I, lo I love this. This is like the opposite of a flying V, isn't it? Somehow. Oh no, now he's, he's spoiled it. He's moved it. No. <laughs> Now it's almost a proper cage. The you crabs know. I gave my flatmates were Dark the best crabs you could ever get, okay? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Indeed, indeed, Arkham, yep. Correct. <laughs> so... Anton, I've not, you know, this is this is this was I was watched this little bit live here, 
and Art was saying this is the correct way to uh, to to defend against a Daka, you know, like leave them, don't go right up close, but leave them so you know they're in the, they've got to overextend a little bit to get a blitz and stuff, and uh, I can see his point, but I would rather still rather hold the edges as the Orcs, uh, he doesn't hold the edges. And... I, I feel like you could do a, just an off screen and just kind of, yeah. I also sometimes wonder if it's better just to like just sit at midfield for a couple of turns. Like if they don't want to play, I don't. I... If you do that though, you're missing out on attrition. Like you want attrition, don't you, on these delves? Yeah, because... I know that, that's always the thing. But I feel like sometimes maybe in a finals, I don't know. Sometimes you just want to like they're just gonna not play offense. It's okay to just let them not play offense for a little bit. Just the turns. Well, there you go. The big big apple there. I like the apple, the tackler. Yeah, I think I do too. To tackler, to mighty blow it's on the edge, where they're clearly saying they kind of want to go towards. Yeah, bit of basing here. Tonight. Earlier than he'd like to go, Elliot. Here, I mean, maybe he shouldn't have gone this early, but maybe, like I guess because he's not holding the edge, it is mm -hmm. tempting to go. So like maybe this was like you know an attempt at trap space, if you like, of uh, yeah. you know tempting them into that that blitz there. And you know, I actually, I, I'm gonna bring it up now. This is an example of where that Biggins extra plus one movement is actually pretty me meaningful because that unmarked uh, black work on the left si left center could actually get all the way to one square off the edge there you go. with five movement and actually be a really pain in the ass. <laughs> yep. Can I mean, yeah, Conite, right, because it's got the rest of the team, right? It has the rest of the. T oh, this is nice, isn't it? Cheeky surf. Cheeky surf, bit of a mistake from Elliot there, and again, where the movement, extra movement of heart that high elves have over dark elves and wood elves have over dark elves and the Daka comes into play there. The surfed, a surfed blitzer. I guess we're doing it's a one day surf because it's got to be. Use your mighty, yeah. Or it's and not. You have to go forward, I think. He's just blitzing the assassin. Gazes no. him. <laughs> no. Because he's armor forward. seven. Oh yeah, exactly because he's armor body seven. What a good player that assassin is. Yep. I hate this though. I hate I hate the wrapping around there. Yeah, I know that's terrible. You yeah. want a, you need to keep a blitzer ideally with tackle parallel with the ball carry as much as you can. Yeah. And not parallel this way, other way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you you can't afford to get people behind them. Like the whole thing of L's. Like this is the thing. Like the DAC is so good because people like say, oh, well, if you get turned over, you're near your end zone. But the thing is, if you get past them, they're near your end zone. Like their whole team is near your end zone now, and like yeah. you've got all this space. And like it's so like it is so good. The DAC sometimes, and uh, yeah, that's lovely. And this is going to be almost impossible to defend now. Um, yeah. With like, the, you know, so yeah, it's funny, isn't it? That, and I would would this guy have made much difference here? I don't know, but all of a sudden, like, nearly every player on the orc team is behind the ball. Well, it makes a difference just because he's a mighty blitz, he's a he's a mighty blitz tackle that comes back, gets into position, and is actually pretty annoying by just being around the ball. And this is one more player. I'm the lineman is probably not tagged. Oof. He's rolled terrible, this Blitzer. He double won the dodge, and then he rolls a one on the GFI, but he's got... Not a great turn by Elliot, but at least he's got, you know, some things in front. Oh, and he's threatening to be away the next turn, so that the Orcs, if they want to stop the score, have to do a lot this turn, and they probably yeah. just aren't going to be able to, because it's Orcs. Yep, and that's the thing, yeah, this guy would have been stood here, right? And then he would have punched there, yeah. and then he would have blitzed, and then he could have got tackle here and all sorts of things, or just tackle back there. And it just makes mm -hmm. a big difference, it makes a big difference, and I think that was... That was definitely bad from Antonaft. I think there's he's done that a, a couple of times. He did this in the first half. He was like, "I'm going to mark their dodge with tackle." It's like that's <laughs> really nothing with strength three. It's just genuinely doesn't do anything for you. <laughs> it's strength four, or strength five. That's probably okay. Or if you or if you have guard next to it, like I think I've played Dark Elves and I mark. With like a guard white and a tackle white and that and like a zombie, that's annoying. They have to do the two plus dodge now. There's just no way around it. But just giving them a two dice to is no, that's not that's nothing. It's not enough. <laughs> it's not enough. Um... And neither is a one. No. 
No, but, but this is still this is, a, this is a, still a decent turn. This is still a little bit tricky for Elliot. Yeah, he's got to open with that, and he's not going to bring too much back to protect here. Um, no, he's going to be under pressure for a little bit. Um, I don't. Oof. I don't know yeah, if I like rolls. doing it. I don't know if I like doing it this way. No, I think I would just blitz to the, the. I think I would just yeah. blitz to the ball. But the thing is, uh, this way it's kind of you've kind of got more, more chances and. You know, it clears I just the don't like it, like because. No, I didn't like it. On a one, like I actually think the failure state's worse there. Like the one and nine. All right, I just do a two plus dodge, and then the witch elf just follows up behind me. I don't. Yes. Yeah. I don't yeah. really need to commit to all of this. No, I thought. Yeah, I didn't like that. It, that I think that might be an Eliod playing to, playing the the. Uh, I think it was Elio there. thinking that if he pushes, then this guy's trapped, right? That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I was thinking. And he wanted this guy to be able to get out in 2 plus and come around as well. I, th I, th I believe that's what he was thinking. Okay. Uh, you know, obviously he didn't have good dice, did he? But, um, yeah. I, I don't know. I guess I'm just so... I would probably just roll a 3 up top and then roll, try and do a 3-2 with that guy regardless. That just seems better to get those extra squares going forward anyway in that situation. Maybe it's not worth it. But yeah, I, I don't think I want to have the I want to have guarantee the witch elf can participate. I don't like that blitz. Because double pushes there were terrifying. You get put two pushes on that blitz. Besides, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I would have definitely there. blitzed with the, the strength four, but you know, who yeah. knows? Because that also by blitzing with strength four, then yeah, you've got that guy. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Well, he's not he's not going for the not going for the ball in any way. Well, that is interesting because. There is no... So Elio doesn't have to do anything. He can't just give up a minus 2 DB. And he's probably okay. Yes. Yeah, he only cares about the tacklers. Like, in fact, actually, I think the play has to be you blip. You hope you get a pow and you just run off. <laughs> you get another turn for free. Oh, Pushes yeah, yeah. probably you, enough to... You 100% just blitz the ball, yeah. And then yeah. try and get as much down with him as you can. Protect yourself from getting uh, fouled. Yeah. A stun probably doesn't matter here. A knockdown's enough to escape the free turn. Get the blitz from as far enough away. But even a push was enough, and then you just stand one square further down, I think, to get the push. Ooh. He. I don't. I don't think that reroll is necessary. You're looking at overtime, right? Yeah, but she could die. The, if you don't re-roll it, then you're committed to leaving the Ops a two-turn, almost. Whereas now she's getting in the way a bit, you know? Like, cause you, you can't stall this another turn if she's not there, I think. Maybe you can't stall this another turn if she is there. Maybe you can't... Well... I guess if she gets armor broken, it's terrible, but she does have jump up, so you maybe can stall even if she's not in that square, because she still has seven squares of movement the following turn. Yeah. But also, you are losing players now. Yeah, the uh, the elves are are going out a little bit. Yep. Oh well, um, she's not going to jump up from that. <laughs> no, no. Um, I would say he's already Fuck. using his apothecary. That badly hurt earlier, but that apothecary would have been gone so fast by now. Yeah. <laughs> so many other it would have gone away a long time ago. <laughs> the assassin or that blitzer would have had something to death by the hurts to try and get those back in the game. So, yeah. team's probably dead even if it wins because it's now got one good player, which yeah. just isn't going to be enough. Yeah, it was almost already dead. It's funny that it's called Major Building and it's like just a majorly unbuilt team. He must have had his team wrecked by somebody. Yeah. Maybe it's Major Building, so maybe he's trying to go for like the full positional build or something, but there isn't a runner. Mm. So he's just going for the... Uh... There's gonna be gonna a go guys. Yeah, okay. There you go. Wow. So, minus 2D, tag the Lino now. Yeah. And tag the other May the other tackler. No, it doesn't I know why he tagged. Should, he, should be tagging the. I guess you tag the line because that way you stand in front of him. You can't just do a three plus out. So I don't really can't get involved. I think maybe you tag the blister, but that's probably. There's already a dodge ball for the blister to get through. Yeah. Whew, he got very killed. Yeah, that was fantastic timing on the 
Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, so he's just gonna tag, just gonna tag the torch in here for 136. Hey, it could be a 1 in 9 into 1 in 36, thank you for Or 1 in 81 into 1 in 36 after. It's oh, just yeah, yeah, of two course, because it's just 2 team, yeah. Uh, well, he, he can bring the other one in to help. Yeah. Yeah, this, the Cavs dice have been a little. have been a little ridiculous. Yeah, it's it kicked off the last couple of turns, yeah. Lots mm -hmm. of removals. It always happens that way, like, you'll just hit them over and over and over again, and then nothing happens, and, like, you'll, there'll be one turn where you get, like, three hits, or two turns, or you get three hits across, and all of a sudden you get three removals. It's very weird how it seems to happen. At least how we remember it happening that way. Well, that's, again, probably due to human perception of random mm -hmm. events and stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Well, here we go, so just a dodge. Uh... Rolls a one. He's got a team reroll. Yeah, no, it's definitely better. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, there you go. A double one from Eliod to not win the game. El uh, Gadenik cannot relate to that at all. <laughs> you know, but, um, is the, is the, was the correct play to do a, try and do a one die as Blitz? No, no, I can't be there to do a one die. No. I can't be there to do a one die there. No, it's just a dodge. But, um, yeah, I mean, unlucky, what can you say? And we did yeah, it's all, a team. I think it's just a three plus dodge. I think the three plus dodge, it's better to do the one, you go to the two plus dodge, it's not. It's the yes, one you can make it for the three plus dodge, yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, team I mean, get the re -rolls and stuff like his that. team was shit. Honestly, his team was shit, and he didn't really yeah, have, have. He did well in the first round. <laughs> It is very poetic that, like, all right, I have two good players. One dies on turn 15, the other one fits, and it dies on turn 16. <laughs> <laughs> yes, guess 335. That 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 proved that the DACA was shit. Yep, that would have never happened on a normal drive. <laughs> yeah, if only he hadn't dacca he'd have not Snake Eye to dodge when he had gotten past the entire Orc team. <laughs> right, have... yeah. You would have probably taken six guys instead of three as well. But any, anyway, there you go. Uh, congratulations to Antonaft. Uh, commiserations to Eliod. And uh, thank you very much, Skrull, for joining me in the booth. Glorious to have you here. I show up every now and then to ruin things. <laughs> and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.